This has been a wonderful year. And you all made it possible. When I um, started last year, I did not know where this uh, boat is going to go. It had its uh, ups and downs, bumps along the way, but I'm glad that finally it has reached uh, its destination. But you know what? Every sunrise leads to a sunset, and then every sunset is the starting point for another sunrise. One of the best charms of rotary, if you like, is what it signifies, rotation. There were a few friends who were asking me <coughs> when I told them just last week that uh, I'm finishing with the rotary year. In fact, a friend in Melbourne thought I had done something wrong because rotary would not allow me to remain as president and I have to resign. And I said, no, no, it's not resignation in the normal sense. First of all, because it's not a business, not a profession. It's service of ourselves. And secondly, it is one of those key elements that make rotary uh, charming, and that is rotation. Everything rotates. And tonight, the time has come to rotate this presidential chain, which I've been absolutely honored uh, to wear. I have thanked you all, but no words are enough to thank you. No, one year can be a very long time, but one year can also be a very short time. It's too short to express what I would have liked to do, what we have already done, how much I would like to thank you. So just as they say that you know, a picture is worth a thousand words, I personally believe that my being, my existence, my coming to the club, um, I try to express my, my gratitude and my thanks to all of you, much beyond uh, what words can express. So much of learning happens. And you know, Brendan will agree. Brendan and I belong to a category of Rotarians who are still working, who um, have a mortgage, I'm assuming here, if she's okay with that, who have got kids who are going in schools. And there are times when, you know, we get asked, what are you doing in Rotary? And my counter question is, how much of Rotary do you know? Last year I had highlighted a few keywords. Compassion, celebration, camaraderie, competency, and creativity. And I stick to those five words which have appeared in my Bonomi as well. They have helped me and they have helped Brendan. And I'm sure they are going to help many more youngsters in quotes as compared to all <coughs> in their career. And then when I look at Wall, if I ever am fortunate enough to be 95, I would like to be a Rotarian sitting here and listening to a, a changeover speech. He is 96 in November, I can't get that wrong. I'm thankful to you all, but equally I am also thankful to my family. And Asha was always skeptical, unsure, and rightfully so, especially as Keshe is in year 10, then year 11. But I'm hoping that uh, both Asha and Keshe have realized the, the charm that Rotary is. And in turn, on behalf of Rotary, I would like to thank Asha, and I would like to thank Keshe and, and Sonki, my daughter. Particularly for handling the president's dinner twice. And Kesh and his friend uh, Nick Mann 
for sitting up to 2 in the middle of the night, <laughs> 2 a.m., and sorting those 1,209 gifts of Tree of Joy that later Wall and a few other friends were able to take and deliver, Megan and others. So this is my voyage of discovery, the discovery of I within the I. In conclusion, when I say I learned so much, I am quoting a very favorite light-hearted author that I have really enjoyed for more than a decade now. His name is Bob Fulgham, Robert Fulgham. And he has written books like Maybe, Maybe Not, Ah, Oh. And one of the first that I was privileged to read, All I Need to Know, I Learned in Kindergarten. So when I say Rotary is a teaching, learning environment, very friendly environment, despite a few challenges here or there, here is what Bob Fulgham says. Wisdom was not at the top of the graduate school mountain, but there in the sand pile at Sunday school. And these are the things he says he learned. Share everything. Play fair. Don't hit people. Put things back where you found them. Clean up your own mess. Don't take things that aren't yours. Say sorry when you hurt somebody. Wash your hands before you eat. <coughs> Flush. <laughs> Warm cookies and cold milk are good for you. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work every day some. Take a nap every afternoon. When you go out in the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands and stick together. Be aware of wonder. Remember the little seed in the styrofoam cup? The roots go down and the plant goes up and nobody really knows how or why, but we are all like that. Goldfish and hamsters and white mice and even the little seed in the styrofoam cup, they all die, so do we. And then remember, the Dick and Jane book, and the first word you learned, the biggest word of all, look. And let me add, listen. Everything we know is there somewhere. The golden <coughs> rule and love and basic sanitation. Ecology and politics and equality and sane living. And for you and me, my fellow Rotarians, even the principle of service above self is right there in the kindergarten. As Brendan takes over the leadership of our, of our club, I pledge my total support to him. Certainly for all the things that he will do right, and also for things that he will not get right. I mean, he has taken up the presidency of the club, hasn't he? <laughs> Brendan epitomizes Rotary's new face. Young family, professional, brilliant, but above all, a very big heart. I'm aware that he has to...